the students today we are going to learn about the major of dispersion on SPSS major of dispersion and shape on SPSS so here we have a variable which is named as age and I am going to enter the variable and this is the discrete variable Now let's enter the data after entering the data uh, which is 1 4 2 1 5 okay now let's move to the anal analysis okay descriptive statistics and frequency now let's jump to the statistics and select the cartiles, standard deviation, variance, and range because these are the major of dispersion. Continue. Now, now let's see the output. So this is the frequency distribution and above the frequency table we are seeing that uh, the major of dispersion is calculated and I am going to paste that on a word file. Okay. Now I am going to calculate the coefficient of variation on SPSS. We all know that the coefficient of variation is the ratio of the standard deviation to the mean and it is a useful statistics for comparing the degree of variation from one data series to another uh, data series and how the coefficient of variation is calculated uh, and when two data sets have same unit but also the same standard deviation now I have uh, two data, two data sets and these are the scores of uh, some students. So uh, coefficient of variation can be computed in order to compare the variability of two data sets uh, for the uh, above uh, mentioned condition when two data sets are of different uh, units and when two data sets have same unit but also the same standard deviation. So I am going to enter the uh, values of the data values of the uh, data one and after that I will enter the data uh, values of the data number two. When two data sets are of different units then we uh, measure the coefficient of variation and when two data sets have same units and same standard deviation because still there is a variability which uh, which is present between these two data and we need to compute that so now again i am going on the sp 53 69 57 and 68 these are the scores of some students so we are going to compare these scores with another scores of these students and these scores uh, are uh, named as data 2 which is another variable and we will going to compare both the data with each other for uh, for measuring the coefficient of variation and you know for the coefficient of variation we need mean and the standard deviation when Now let's shift these data sets to the corresponding dialog box. Uh, I only need the mean and standard deviation. I, uh, so I am going to untick all those uh, options and I just need the mean and the standard deviation.
so this is the mean of beta 1 and the standard deviation of beta 1 and the mean and uh, standard deviation of beta 2 So for the data 1, I am going to calculate the coefficient of variation which is the ratio of a standard deviation to the mean which is data 1 have the uh, standard deviation which is 6.70 and the mean is 60.40 which is multiplied by 100% and it is equal to 11.1% and will highlight the mean and the standard deviation from that particular table. Now let's calculate the coefficient of variation of data 2. Data 2 have a standard deviation of 6.31 and the mean is 16.90 which is multiplied by 100. 6.31 divided by 16.90 multiplied by 100 is equal to 37.3%. So this is the coefficient of variation of data 1 and data 2. This is how the coefficient of, uh, coefficient of variation can be calculated by the help of SPSS. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos update related to statistics and probability.